Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how Nathan proposed to me. We've been married for a little over two years and I haven't shared this story on YouTube before. Kind of ironically, I'm actually sitting in the car just waiting for Nathan while he is photographing a proposal right inside there. So kind of exciting, hopefully she says yes, but what better time to share with you how Nathan proposed to me than a time that he is currently photographing another proposal. On my last video, you saw that there was a time about three months before Nathan actually proposed that I thought that he was proposing, but he wasn't. It was pretty embarrassing, but today I'm gonna share with you the actual story of how he really did propose. And yeah, his proposal was so perfect for me, so it's always fun to share this story. Um, so this is how he proposed. So we had scheduled a date day, which was like not that uncommon. Um, I a lot of times I didn't ask him where we were going because I just liked surprises and because of the like very embarrassing proposal story that I shared last time, I was like really good about not getting my hopes up this time and I was just really like not, you know, I don't know, not planning for him to propose because I didn't want to end up in the same situation that I had been in before. So I kept my expectations really low. We got in the car and there was like this long, and I didn't know what it was, it was all covered in fabric and it was taking up the whole length of the car. He would do a lot of like pretty special, like creative dates. So just the fact that there was something else in the car didn't necessarily mean he was gonna propose. Like he was pretty creative with that kind of thing. So he started driving towards Laguna Beach. So since we met in Laguna Beach, it's always been kind of our spot. We've like had dates there. We, we would go there at night and just watch the waves. It was like totally our getaway. And that's when I started to be like, okay, we're going to Laguna Beach. This could totally be it. He could be about to propose, but again, I'm trying not to get my hopes up because of what happened last time. So I'm like playing it cool, I'm chill. He's super relaxed, like he didn't seem nervous at all, so that also kind of threw me off. But I started to suspect it at this point. So we get to Laguna Beach. Now we're hiding. Nathan and Julie are gonna walk around there somewhere. We're just hiding. Trying to get them all where the bushes. They're gonna be walking around there. There we are, guys. Don't my pants. No, just kidding. and he grabs like that thing that was in the car that was super long and I didn't know what it was. Turns out that it was stands to set up a backdrop to watch a movie on the beach because it's starting to get dark, which I thought obviously that's really cute, but that was like something that we did often. And the very first time that he did that, it was like such a cute surprise and I loved it. But it also really threw me off that he did that because then I thought, like this is an amazing date, but we're not gonna like watch a movie and then he's gonna propose. So that really threw me off and I was like, I guess we're just watching a movie, like, but that's fine. I'm just gonna enjoy myself. So, but then he got it all set up and when the movie started playing, it was actually a slideshow of photos of our times together. We would always take photos together starting from our first date. So it was like, all of these pictures of our times together and the song was one of the songs that we you know bonded over so it was this whole slideshow with like our song and all these photos of us and then i knew like i was like okay he's gonna propose and little did i know this whole time our friends were sneakily watching us and they had been hiding all along the whole area I was just kind of freaking out like it was like I don't know you think about what that moment is gonna be like for so long so when it was actually happening I was just like oh my gosh this is it like I need to like savor this and take it in and it was just it was kind of overwhelming but like in a really beautiful way he had the ring in his back pocket in like a box with a little light so you could see it sparkling it actually got like stuck in his pocket for a second so we were just standing there kind of cuddling for a minute and he was trying to get the ring out and i was like oh my gosh and i'm just like freaking out in my mind and then he got the ring out got on one knee and he proposed let me stay I actually 
wasn't crying. I like felt the feeling of crying, but I think I was just so overwhelmed. Like my, I was almost in shock. It was not from surprise, but just from like, wow. Like I'm so happy. This is so good. So obviously I said yes. And right after I said yes, I didn't even realize because I was so like, focused in the moment but our friend Valerie who I actually met at the same time that I met Nathan so she was there at the proposal and she had been taking pictures the whole time and I didn't even she was like right there but I didn't even see her because I was so caught up in the moment after I said yes um, I realized that she was taking pictures and all of our friends popped out from behind this big rock like party poppers and like screaming and celebrating with your arms around me if we stay So perfect I loved it because we we got to have like an intimate moment just the two of us but then we also got to have our friends there afterwards and we had pictures so we just like hugged everyone and then we took pictures along the beach and one thing that's really cool is that Nathan really wanted to have sparklers there for photos afterwards since that's like so much of our thing but since it was kind of out of season he wasn't able to find the type of sparklers that we needed and so it was just like kind of a bummer but there were these two people that were sitting near us that saw us get engaged, like saw him propose, and they happened to have extra sparklers, and without us even asking, they just were like, hey, congratulations, do you wanna use our sparklers for a photo? We were like, oh my gosh, yes, it was so perfect. So yeah, then we just took pictures with the sparklers and with each other, and like, it was, yeah, it was really, really cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hey. From there we went to Earth Cafe in Laguna Beach which was another place that I really loved and we just ate food and celebrated. Oh. So I'm we're sharing... gonna go to the park. Okay cool. I'm sharing our proposal story. Oh cool. cool. <laughs> Do you need to finish it? And uh, yeah so then we had haagen ice cream which was also kind of a thing and it was just a really fun perfect day. And then we got married three months later. So that's pretty much the entire story. That is how Nathan proposed to me. Maybe one day he'll have to share his side of the story and what was going through his mind. Um, but we'll get that in another time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing our proposal story. And we'll see you next time. How'd it go? It was good. He said yes. So that's good news. <laughs> Yay!